Okay, so when you are making a day cream with a fair amount of oils in it, it will not be possible to dip a pH stick or pH strip straight into your emulsion. It will simply not be accurate. You have to make a 10% dilution of your cream with 90% of demineralized water. So you might have noticed that when you dip a pH strip in the cream and you wipe off the cream, nothing changes on the strip. This is because it doesn't contain enough water. A more technical explanation for this is that a pH strip or pH meter measures the numbers of hydronium ions. These ions are only present when there is water. And in order to measure them, they need to be able to move around. In a cream, they don't move around and therefore your measurement will not be precise. So in order to measure the pH, we need to water down your cream in a small beaker with demineralized water. We are making a dilution of 10% cream with 90% of demineralized water. So one gram of cream with nine grams of water. Don't worry, the pH will not change with the dilution from 10 to 50%. However, if you were to make a dilution of only two and a half percent cream, you would have a different pH because then there is a lot more demineralized water in there, which makes the pH a lot higher. But don't worry if you make a dilution of 10 to 50%, it will be the exact same pH as your cream. Oh, and one more tip, always use distilled or demineralized water. Please don't use tap water for this because you will have bacterial growth in there and you don't want that in your cream. So I will demonstrate how this is done. It's very easy. You need a digital scale and a small beaker and you need a small part of your cream that you've made. So I already have my beaker here with my cream. I made 10% more this time so that I could test it for pH. And we will add one gram of cream into our small beaker. And to this, we will add nine grams of demineralized water. And we will give this a quick stir. And we will measure the pH in this small beaker. So you can use a pH strip for this or a pH meter. I like to use this pH meter because it is very quick and accurate. So we will dip the stick in there. You can move it around. I always do this because then it's properly mixed up and it moves around the electrode that measures the pH. So as you can see now, it needs some time to stabilize. And the pH is of this solution, it's at around 4.8. In order to raise the pH, we need to add a baking soda solution. I've already pre-made these. Um, you can see them in my other videos. I use 10% of baking soda with 90% of demineralized water, and I use 10% of citric acid um, with demineralized water to lower it and the baking soda to higher. You can add these drops to your cream and you will mix it in. And afterwards you will put one gram of the cream into the small beaker again and add nine grams of demineralized water until you reach the pH of five and a half and then you can stop this process. So be prepared to wash this beaker a couple of times. Um, it's something that just has to be done as part of um, making a cream. It's very important because you don't want creams to sting on your skin and you want the preservative to be active in there. So I hope you know how to do this yourself now and if you have any questions please leave them in the description down below and I'll be happy to help you.